morning. I'm at the La Cienega National Conservation Area. This is a BLM managed area. It's located approximately 40 minutes south of Tucson, Arizona, off of uh, Arizona Route 83. Arizona Route 83 is big rig friendly. There's 14 day free camping here and multiple camping areas. That is Arizona Route 83 you're looking at in the center of your screen. After you cross the cattle guard, you're going to see this signage as you enter the BLM area. And you can note that it's clearly posted 14 day free camping. Arizona 83 is back that way. And I'm at the turnoff. You can see there's an intersection right up in here. I'm at the turnoff uh, to go to this campground. I did a separate video on this campground. Yeah, and that should already be posted, by the way, on YouTube. Today, I'm taking you out to the Airstrip Group campsites. So we're gonna go up to this intersection, and we're gonna hang a left. And I'm taking you out to some big rig friendly free camping here in this National Conservation Area. You know, Melody and I love free and affordable RV camping, and we're always on the hunt for our next free camping area to put on our uh, personal camping map. Let me take you out to the Airstrip Group campsites here on this BLM managed land. If you follow our channel, you know I'm retired. Been out here all morning doing reconnaissance at this National Conservation Area. So I'm stopping to have some lunch. I just wanna let you know that it's not all work when you're retired. You gotta take time and take in the scenery. Okay, well the road has been pretty good so far. All big rig friendly. Showing I have half a mile to go before I get to the airstrip group campsites. in as we approach a turn off. Coming up on a low water crossing. The entire road has been big rig friendly. I can get my fifth wheel out here so far. Crossing another cattle guard. In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Take a look at the signs. We'll give you a walking tour. Well, this is most definitely big rig friendly territory. I see a number of large rigs going down through here. There's plenty of space. Uh, definitely free camping, 14 day free camping right here on the BLM board. I like how they have all these maps. They have a number of different maps that uh, show you the area. This Empire Ranch headquarters looks uh, pretty neat. I think I'm gonna go back and check that out. I might do another video just on that Empire Ranch headquarters. It seemed to be pretty interesting. Um, the camping area starts back up in here. You can see some rigs off in this direction. 
I'm gonna go up and take a look at the, there's more signage up the road here. I'm gonna go up and take a look at that sign and then we'll, uh, we'll start a walking tour of this free dispersed camping area. Within this conservation area, uh, you have the Empire Ranch headquarters. This whole conservation area was a ranch at one time, thousands and thousands of acres. Uh, the headquarters, uh, which is a ranch, it is pretty interesting. I've opted not to do a separate video, but for those of you that follow us on Facebook, I'll have content there for you. And if you don't currently follow us on Facebook, type in Living Our Dream Now, all one word, in the Facebook, and our Facebook page will come up. And at the ranch headquarters, Empire Ranch headquarters, they have potable water right next to the uh, ball toilets. And the water does work. Yeehaw. Okay, this, so this sign going up this road here, it appears uh, this is the road that's going to take you to Oak Tree Canyon. I have read multiple reviews and seen some videos to where you needed a high clearance vehicle. It was not big rig friendly. So I'm not going to go up here, but we're hanging out right here by the airstrip. Uh, old airstrip group camping area. Uh, there are a number of big rigs. You can see two of them right up there off to the right. Uh, so the, there's there's a couple additional sites going up toward Oak Tree Canyon. But the bulk of the free camping area that I researched on uh, Google Satellite View was down this way. So I'm going to start walking down this way and we'll start the walking tour of this free dispersed camping area here on BLM land just south of Tucson, Arizona. Here's the sign I showed you just a few minutes ago. But right around the corner here, I was coming in today, uh, there is a site available right in here. See this little half moon right in here. And I saw a campfire ring. Let me walk back in there. That, that is a free campsite, folks. So back that way is my truck. There's a big old campfire ring right there. Um, you don't have to be in a group to camp here. They call it a group camping area because more than one rig will fit into the particular camping area. So you see multiple rigs here. You could get a rig right in there in the center of your screen. You could get another rig right here. And there's an, yet another camping spot where I'm standing. And uh, I could face my fifth wheel out. And that would be the view from my front porch. And then if you want to have a fire, you have a big old fire ring right over in here. One hundred percent free camping and big rig friendly. That's what we're looking for. This particular campsite, airstrip camping in this national conservation area, BLM managed. Going down to my uh, my uh, camping Mac, folks. Going down the book. Yep, this location is definitely going on my camping map. Can get my big rig in here, no problem. That's why I do these scouting missions. Hopefully these videos will save you some time, either make you want to come out here and partake in some of the free camping, or rule the location out, whatever the case may be. Let's continue down the road and see what other free camping is available here at the Airstrip Dispersed Camping Area. Look how wide this road is. Nice flat campsites. This is my kind of camping, folks. And you got mountains for a backdrop. And Tucson, Arizona is just, oh, less than 40 miles up the road. It took me about 39 minutes to get here. Not bad. So that's the direction I just walked from. There were several 
big rig friendly campsites up that way. And as I progress down this camping area off to the left, there are some additional available free camping spots. You can see a firing off to the left there. You know, one of the reasons I do these uh, walking videos, these walking tours, on-site tours, of the free camping areas is, you know, on the satellite photo, you could not tell that there was a fence up there. You know, on the satellite, it looks like this boondocking area would go clear down past where the fence is, but there is a fence up there, folks. So, uh, again, that's why I bring you on the ground and show you these free camping areas. So you can get several rigs in here. This is an expansive area. That's a boondocking area. You're looking at right there. You have another one in the center of your screen. That's a big old firing you have there. Um, those are just restricted area signs. They don't want you going back up in the grass, but there's no need to. There's plenty of camping here. Uh, there's a Dodge Ram, Class B. God, you can go anywhere in those things. You know, everything's a trade-off in the RV world. Um, and look, look, look what I found. It has a vault toilet out here as well. They definitely have this barricaded off where you can't get a vehicle in here you could walk in here so i don't know whether with the sun and the glare i don't know whether you're going to be able to make this out but this is good to know information here's the oak tree um, canyon road where my truck is parked and then you have these free campsites going down through here that's where we just walked and then you have, beyond the fence here, you have this red area that's, that's stating that it's also a camping area, this, this red square. It's uh, beyond the fence here, and it says that you need a special use permit to camp there. Um, but I haven't seen an area where you could get a vehicle through there. So I'm going to walk, explore around a little bit more and see if I can see an access point to where you could get a vehicle in there. Um, but you don't need a permit to camp back in here. Again, I will refer you to the BLM website for this National Conservation Area and uh, to uh, make sure that during the time period when you come out here that, uh, you know, there's not a hunt or something going on that would require you to have a permit. Well, um, I walked back into this fenced area. That's where I was just at. On the other side there is the free camping area. But on the special use side of this camping area, uh, there is a large, um, looks like a horse trailer. <clears throat> so there must be a way to get a vehicle in here. There must be a gate somewhere. But my, the purpose of my visit today is just to document the free camping area. And so uh, this airstrip group camping area is definitely going on my camping map, folks. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. I'll also have the grid coordinates for this free camping location in the written video description as well. As always, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.